Right now at 10, the Mississippi River keeps rising, and towns along its banks are preparing and asking volunteers to help. And the first meeting of a new committee, the La Crosse School District brought together community members to give input on the future of facilities. Plus, on a day known for celebrating cannabis culture, a Minnesota lawmaker says the plant could soon be fully legalized in the state. Watching WKDT Lacrosse. This is News 8 Now at 10. Good evening, everyone, and thanks for joining us for News 8 Now at 10. I'm Ken Kozarowski. Floodwaters continue to rise along the Mississippi shores. This is a look at Lacrosse's Riverside Park, and as you can see, the water has reached well over the main levee and is creeping up onto grassy areas of the park. The city does have the park closed. On the other side of the river, meanwhile, Pettibone Park is flooded and closed. A few trails in La Crosse are also closed, including Cottonwood and Grand Crossing Marsh Trails, as well as Green Island and Huska Park Trails. We have a list of the closures on News8000.com. Area communities are preparing for the higher waters. The town of Campbell is asking for volunteers to help fill sandbags to protect homes and businesses. If you can help, meet at the town office on Bainbridge Street at any time between 8 and 3 tomorrow. The town is asking volunteers to bring their own pair of gloves and an extra shovel. City officials in Prairie du Chien say St. Ferial Island is closed to all traffic. North Main Street is also closed from Frederick Street to West Washington Street. A public information meeting will happen tomorrow at 1.30 p.m. at the community room in City Hall. We have more information from city officials on our website. And for the latest on our community flood conditions and where those river levels are, let's head over to Eric Dean. All right, good evening, Ken. Good evening, everybody. It's just been crazy out there in terms of flooding and I hate to be the bearer of bad news. It's not getting any better. It's just getting worse over the next several days. Take a look here at the numbers. As of the top of the hour, Winona is now sitting at 16.96 feet. Uh, Trimpolo, 649.81. Lacrosse is now at 14.43. I think this is going to get another update before we get into the next weather segment. That number updates uh, every 15 minutes. Lingsville, you're sitting at 626.57. You can see the crest as we go into uh, next week. 19.2 in Winona, 651.1 in uh, Trempolo, 15.9 in La Crosse, 630.6 in Lingsville. And those numbers are even continuing to get higher. So this is something that we have to look for or keep an eye on as we go into the next several days. Take a look at how we get to that 15.9. You can see uh, right here as we go into the 23rd, It'll go to 15.3 feet, 15.7 feet by the 25th, and then 15.9 by the 27th. And we take a look here at the river flood outlook for the next five days. You can see right there across the Mississippi, not just Minnesota and Wisconsin, but you zoom out and take a look uh, over towards all of Iowa, even going into parts of Missouri. Flooding is likely, so we're not the only state dealing with this, uh, Ken. You can see all of Iowa and even parts of Missouri dealing with this. So yeah. a very scary situation across the Mississippi. Now coming up in the next check weather, I showed this graphic before, mm -hmm. but I want to show you where we stand now versus the historical crest. Because I'm telling you right now, this is going to be the fourth time uh, since we've been recording data yeah. that will be in flood stage. All right, it Major is up flood there. stage. Yeah. All right, Eric Dean, thanks yeah, very much, bud. Back on the new side of things this evening, concerned staff, parents, and community members of the La Crosse School District came together tonight hoping to make some much-needed improvements to the school district. News 8 Now's Anna Fisher attended the first facility advisory committee meeting tonight. And she joins us live in studio to tell us more. Good evening, Anna. Good evening, Ken. Roughly 30 people attended tonight's meeting to lay out their collective goals and discuss the district's needs. Members were chosen to represent a variety of people within the community. Tonight's meeting gave input to future surveys that will be sent to the, to the community excuse me, and mapped out goals of the committee, such as finding an alternative solution to the overcrowding issue in many of the schools right now. One committee member says she joined with her children in mind. I'm really happy the school district has put the committee together. I think um, it's a need and an opportunity for the community to be heard. Um, we've had some, you know, rough times in the last, you know, few elections, and so I think hopefully investing in this type of committee and work puts us up for success for our children down the road. The committee will work together to review data using community feedback while keeping the community informed. The future of the district's school buildings will continue to be a top priority after the referendum to build a new Southside High School failed last November. And the facility advisory committee... Well, it seems to have cut Anna Fisher off, unfortunately, but she was... 
Sorry. <laughs> the facility advisory committee will have monthly meetings through the November. Ken. <laughs> Me now. All right. The public is also welcome to attend those monthly meetings that Anna attended tonight. They will also be recorded if you miss them, and then they'll be posted on the district's website so you don't lose track of what's going on. After 16 years on the La Crosse County Circuit Court, Judge Todd Bjerke is deciding to retire this summer. Bjerke's last official day on the bench will be July 31st. The 65-year-old says it is a hard decision to make, but one that he and his wife have taken a long time over. Bjerke's career in law spans more than three decades. After serving in the Marines, Bjerke worked with Scott Horn in the DA's office from 1989 to 2007. Bjerke then won three elections for circuit court in 2007, 2013, and 2019. He says he's seen the court system really work toward greater mental health awareness over the years. There's a lot of movement now to try to keep people with mental health issues out of the criminal court at least mm -hmm. and get them into other things to get them back on track. Uh, so that's the, the biggest area I think I've seen change over the years. Bjerke's presided over high profile cases, of course, like the Kent Hammer homicide case in 2016. In addition to the county court he's perhaps most proud of is getting a veterans court off the ground in the late 2000s. He knows from his years in the military that too often servicemen and women keep their mental health to themselves. Too big a stigma for them, but when they get out they still don't want to get help. Uh, they're resistant to the VA, they're resistant to eff efforts from our mentors or anyone else to get to them, so it's a real lot of work mm -hmm. to try to get those people engaged, but once they do and we work with them, it's tremendous to see the change that they can make in themselves. So he may be retiring from the bench, but Bjerke will be staying busy. He is part of several organizations dedicated to mental health awareness, including serving as president of the local chapter of the National Alliance on Mental Illness. The Vernon County Sheriff's Office has arrested a 23-year-old man in a drug trafficking investigation. An official release says earlier this month during a traffic stop, deputies found Hunter Volden violating a November cash bond for possession charges of methamphetamine and marijuana. Police performed a search warrant later that day and found several grams of meth, 300 grams of THC wax, and more than 15 pounds of raw marijuana. Police estimate the total street value at $40,000. Bolden is currently being held on $15,000 cash bond. Minnesota may become the next state to legalize recreational cannabis if an upcoming vote succeeds. Today, Minnesota lawmaker Zach Stevenson announced there will be a vote on a bill he authored that would legalize cannabis, commonly known as marijuana, for recreational use by adults. The bill would also create an office of cannabis management, create licensing rules, and put a sales tax on products. Minnesota's governor also tweeted today that he is ready to sign recreational cannabis legislation to law, as well as expunge cannabis convictions in the state. If passed, Minnesota would become the 22nd state to legalize cannabis. And in Wisconsin, a Republican leader says he's been building support for medical cannabis legislation. Assembly Speaker Robin Voss told the Associated Press he's been working privately on a medical cannabis program he thinks could get bipartisan support. Voss says he's still opposed to legalizing recreational cannabis and doesn't want to create something that would lead to full legalization. He hopes to introduce his plan this fall. Now, according to a poll by Marquette University Law School last October, 64% of Wisconsinites support legalizing marijuana for any use. The lack of cannabis legalization in Wisconsin isn't stopping folks in La Crosse from celebrating what's become an annual holiday for the lovers of the plant. Folks gathered at the La Crosse Center for 420 on Front Street. The event had live music and comedy as well as more than a dozen vendors with cannabis and non-cannabis products. The party is a collaboration between Carbon Cannabis and Stax Families Farms both local cannabis businesses. The president and CEO of Carbon Cannabis said he's excited to bring people together on a holiday that carries a stigma and wants to use it as a chance to educate. Big part of what I do with Carbon Cannabis is educate and this is a perfect environment for people that are actively interested in cannabis to help educate them and make the proper choices when they're consuming. The event is giving back to the community as well with all proceeds from a raffle going to the American Legion. And there's a new study out just in time for 420 detailing the effects cannabis might have on the brain. Some experts are warning about downsides of using the plant. And it's pretty well known that sugary drinks are bad for your health, but a new study is showing that some who drink them have a higher risk of an earlier death. I won't write your will. I don't write contracts. I won't handle your divorce. I do know a few things about personal injury law. All I do is help injured people get the compensation they deserve. At Bygoff and Rody, that's how we get results.
Now's the time to save on outdoor furniture from Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. From patio tables and chairs to sofas and sectionals and weather-resistant fabrics, they're all on sale. At Drury's, we have an eco-friendly mindset that is reflected in everything we sell. Whether traditional or contemporary in design, environmentally friendly materials are important to us. And you'll be choosing from quality brands like Homecrest and Brizesta, furniture that's designed to last. Best of all, it's all on sale now at Drury's in Fountain, Minnesota. This time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. Plus, it's time for spring bonus offers at your Northland Ford dealers, where you can save big on a Ford truck to make it all happen. Start the season off right with 0.9% financing for 60 months, plus 3,500 in total savings on Ford F-150 XLT. It's Showtime. Now for a limited time only, get 0.9% financing for 60 months, plus 3,500 in total savings on Ford F-150 XLT. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. I won't write your will. I don't write contracts. I won't handle your divorce. I do know a few things about personal injury law. All I do is help injured people get the compensation they deserve. At By Goff and Rody, that's how we get results. New findings show that drinking high amounts of sugar-sweetened beverages is linked with a higher risk of death and cardiovascular disease for people with diabetes. That's according to a recently released study from Harvard researchers. They looked at nearly 20 years of data on almost 13,000 men and women. And the risk of dying early was lower for diabetics who drank things like coffee, unsweetened tea, low-fat milk, and water. Researchers say it is critical for people with diabetes to stay hydrated and switch to healthier beverages. The maker of Narcan nasal spray is working to lower the cost of the product. Emergent said in a statement that it's aiming for an out-of-pocket price of less than $50. The goal is to match the prices that government agencies, nonprofits, and first responders pay now that the drug is approved for over-the-counter sales. And just in time for 420, sometimes referred to as Weed Day, experts are reminding users that cannabis has downsides too. The co-author of a review in the of research in the journal Addiction notes that cannabis can make it harder to concentrate, remember things, and learn. A psychiatrist Psychiatrist at the North University of Montreal says those issues can lead to lower educational achievement in youth. In adults, cannabis use can cause poor work performance and dangerous driving. Still ahead tonight at 10, farmers overseas are turning their gassy cows into a source of fuel. They're harnessing waste from livestock to power heavy equipment and keep methane from further polluting the air. And we had I-57 in La Crosse, 60s and 70s from Viroqua down to Boscobel. We are going to cool off as we go into the weekend, but the precip chances are still in the forecast. We'll talk about that in the first one forecast on the other side of the break. Stay with us. Get an extra 20% off during our Spring Spruce Up event. Right now at Slumberland Furniture, get this Ashley sofa for just $3.99 in your choice of two colors. Incredible! Did you know Slumberland has the lowest prices on Ashley product? As a veteran of our country's armed services, you have already made the ultimate sacrifice. Why should you have to continue to do that? Through no fault of your own, you may be experiencing hardships, such as the inability to pay rent, utilities, or receive other life-sustaining services. And once again, you're called upon by your family to serve and protect. We want you to know we are here to support you. The Veterans Rental Assistance Program was created by and for people living in Wisconsin, with benefit approvals being issued to veterans in just days, not months. It's not easy to ask for a hand up, but we are clear in our mission. No Wisconsin veteran should ever have to face homelessness or lose heat, power, or water again. 833 W-I-S-V-R-A-P. That's 833-947-8727. At Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning, we know the Cooley region's weather is unpredictable. 40 degrees today, 75 tomorrow. Is your HVAC system fully prepared to effectively handle the stresses of the next season? Beat the inevitable rush and schedule your HVAC clean and check today. Be confident your air conditioning unit and furnace will work when you need it. Call Bagnevsky Heating and Air Conditioning, your trusted train comfort specialist. It's hard to stop a train. Your train comfort specialist, Bagnevsky. Chevy Silverado and new Silverado HD. Choose your own path with the number one best-selling retail full-size pickup 
and see where it takes you. Find new roads. It's Chevy truck season. Get 0% financing plus make no monthly payments for 90 days on all 2023 Silverado 1500 pickups or current Chevy owners get 3750 total cash allowance on all 2023 Silverado pickups with a turbo high open engine. Find new roads at your local Chevy dealer. Sleeping in pain or too hot? Come to Slumberland and get 20% off mattresses. Find your perfect mattress with our easy rating system and save big. Get a Sealy Queen mattress for just $4.99. Only at Slumberland. Come explore and plan your next home improvement project at the Boards Door Home Improvement's historic eight-building showroom, 524 Copeland Avenue, La Crosse. All right, take a look at the current river levels across the Cooley region. I want to go ahead and move the map a little bit farther north over towards the Twin Cities because I want to draw your attention to these little purple dots right here. That's where we're seeing major flooding at this hour. You look over towards the Cooley region, you're noticing a lot of red. Moderate flooding is in play, but we're going to start seeing more of those purple dots on the map as we go into your Friday and as we go into the weekend. As a matter of fact, take a look here again at the river levels. You can see everybody is above flood stage, but we will get into major flooding stage in Winona, Trempolo and La Crosse as we go into the first part of next week. Linksville, you're going to be at 630.6 uh, as we go into Wednesday. Not in the major flooding category, still moderate flooding, but I would still take this very seriously nonetheless. And speaking of this, I showed this yesterday, I showed it again today, and I'm going to show it again as we go into tomorrow as well. We're sitting at 14.43 feet right now. Okay, the Biggest crest that we've had, the highest crest I should say, was back in 1965 at 17.89. This is projected to be the third highest crest on record. So this is something that we will keep an eye on as the weekend inches closer. And for the next five days, I want to draw your attention to this little area right here. Uh, you're noticing this area right here shaded in red. That's where the heaviest flooding will be taking place just to the north of us. The area shaded in orange is where heavy flooding is more than likely. So the bottom line, as we go into the next several days, the rain chance is going to stay in the forecast for a little bit. Not everybody will see it. Regardless, major flooding is expected. And if you see water on the roadways, please uh, turn around. Uh, don't stall your car out uh, in the water. And take a look at some of the rainfall totals for today. Uh, we picked up 6,100s of an inch in La Crosse, just over an inch in Winona. Eau Claire picked up 94 hundredths of an inch. And then the farther south you go, we had the less amounts. Uh, Verroca, just under a quarter of an inch, 29 hundredths of an inch over towards the Prairie de Chine area. Boscobel, 37 hundredths of an inch of rain. We have a clean sweep on the radar scan right now. Earlier today, we had that line of thunderstorms push through. That's since pushed its way out of here. Earlier today, even over towards Madison, they had a tornado watch until uh, about the 5, 6 o'clock time frame. It was allowed to expire early. So for your Friday, again, a stray shower to not out of the question. We'll start the day off with abundant sunshine. The clouds will pick up in the afternoon and evening hours. Made it to 57 today. Not bad after a morning start of 41. That 41 is pretty much on par for where we should be for this time of year anyway. 62 is our average high. In Eau Claire, you made it to 45. 59 is your average high. 37 was your morning start. So again, a couple of degrees shy from the average, but still not a bad day. Nonetheless, and look at the temperature variation from La Crosse to Eau Claire. 44 in La Crosse, 39 in Eau Claire. We'll start with Eau Claire first. It feels like 31 with winds out of the west southwest at 15 miles per hour. La Crosse, we are sitting at 44 degrees outside. Feels like 38 with winds out of the west at 13 miles per hour. And as I mentioned, that Mississippi River is sitting at 14.44 feet. So when you wake up in the morning, temperatures in the 30s will greet you. 34 in Ladysmith, 34 Eau Claire, 38 La Crosse, 35 Viroqua, 36 will be the overnight low in Boscobel. Highs tomorrow, cooler than today. We're going to go into the 40s and 50s. Low 40s towards Ladysmith, mid 40s towards Eau Claire, upper 40s towards Black River Falls. And then from Sparta down to Boscobel, we'll see temperatures in the low to mid 50s. But yeah, we're going to cool off again as we go into the weekend. You see this low pressure that's going to push its way through. So you see this dip right here. That's going to allow those temperatures to go back into the 40s for Saturday and Sunday. So the details of the first one forecast for tonight will go to 38 degrees with decreasing clouds and increasing wind. It'll be out of the west at around 10 to 20 miles per hour. As we go into the weekend, we see temperatures in the mid 40s for Saturday and Sunday. Not going to roll out a wintry mix Friday night, Saturday morning. We go back into the 50s for Monday and Tuesday, upper 50s to low 60s 
for the second half of next week. But no matter how you slice and dice it, the rain chances are still in play. All right, Eric Dean, thanks very much. Coming up next in sports, the Brewers ace is testing out a strained muscle to see if he'll have to miss any time. Plus an MVC rematch, Aquinas baseball looks to make it two in a row over Central. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Clinic Health System. Whether you need routine care or specialty care, Mayo Clinic Health System offers the best options for care where and when you and your family needs it. Here at the Y, we offer more than just a job. We offer the chance to make a difference in a fun, flexible environment where our mission and core values drive every decision we make. Join us in this amazing work. For specific positions and details, visit our website. Spring has sprung, the grass has riz. I wonder where the furniture is. At King Furniture, of course. During our spring clearance event, save an additional 10% off our already low prices. Plus, take advantage of 0% free financing. Recliners, sofas, sectionals, dining rooms, and more. With our huge selection of in-stock furniture, low price guarantee, and free delivery, why shop anywhere else? It's the King Furniture Spring Clearance Sale. S.O.S. Help us save our spring at Pleasureland RV. The late winter has our lot stuffed, and we must reduce inventory immediately. Take advantage of these deep inventory reduction discounts and save your summer with Camping Adventure. This Thursday through Saturday, it's an all-out S.O.S. With new travel trailers for just $165 a month. Save our spring, and you'll save your summer during our S.O.S. sales event at all nine Pleasureland RV locations. Best in the Midwest. Save now during the Refresh Your Space Spring Sale at Carpets To Go. Now until April 30th, you can save on beautiful carpet, exquisite hardwoods, and luxury vinyl planks and tile. Plus, at Carpets To Go, you can get free estimates, design, and six months financing. Save now through April 30th during the Refresh Your Space Spring Sale at Carpets To Go. Whatever you want on your floor, Carpets To Go in Onalaska. Here at the Y, we offer more than just a job. Experience the personal satisfaction that comes from nurturing the potential of youth and teens, improving our community's health and well-being, and providing support to our neighbors. Join us in this amazing work. News 8 Now Sports is brought to you by Mayo Health System. Here's News 8 Now's Rob Schiff. It's wet, it's chilly, it doesn't feel like summer the way it did last week, but baseball players... They're tough. They can play through anything. And these two MVC rivals were back at it on the diamond, going head-to-head -head for the second straight day. Blue Golds won on their home field Wednesday. Riverhawks hosting Aquinas today at Copeland. Check out this play from Tyler Young. Aquinas trying to bunt the runner in from third, but Young snags it, fires it to third for the double play. Heads up play by Young. Riverhawks get out of a jam. Central, same idea in the bottom of the inning. Runners on the corners with two outs, but the Blue Golds keep this one scoreless. Until the third, Aquinas breaks through thanks to Kyle White's base hit in a right field. Jacob Thornton's going to come in to score. Blue Golds get on the board. It's 1-0, but they weren't done. Still in the third, Eddie Peters at the dish now. He lines one down the left field line. That's going to be trouble. Cole Keppel crosses the plate to make it 2-0 Aquinas. And Peters doing it all. Check out this play at shore. He gets to it in the hole and then fires a strike over to first base for the out. Impressive play. By the junior Blue Golds get past Rivals Central for the second time in two days. Aquinas takes it 7-1, the final. On the circle, the Luther softball team looking to get back to the state tournament. Knights playing like it today. 14 runs scored in their win over Arcadia. Big day with the bats for Luther. 15 hits, including three from Hannah Matsky. She had two doubles on the day. The senior driving in three and also helping keep Arcadia in check. Five and two-thirds innings pitch for Matsky. Just three earned runs allowed on five hits. Mackenzie Van Loon and Carly Miller both homering for Luther in the win. Twins trying to make it two out of three over Boston, but the Red Sox come out swinging. First inning, Alex Verdugo hits one high and deep to right, just a bit more fair than his game winner a couple nights ago. It's 1-0 Boston. In the third, the onslaught continues. 3-0 now until Connor Wong goes back up the box. Two more runs are going to come in a score. That makes it... 5-0 Sox, and they weren't done. Still in the third, Jaron Duran crushes this one to dead center. It stays in the park, but two more runs are going to cross the plate. Twins fall in the series finale, 11-5, the final from Boston. Minnesota is back at home tomorrow 
to take on the Nationals. Brewers are off tonight before they begin a three-game set at home this weekend against Boston, but some good news regarding their ace. Corbin Burns had to leave in the sixth inning in Monday's start against Seattle after feeling some discomfort in his upper chest area. It wound up being diagnosed as a strained left pectoral muscle, but Burns, he says he played catch yesterday, he felt good, plans on throwing his bullpen session Friday, and if all goes well, Burns will be back on the mound Sunday against the Red Sox. On the hardwood, the Bucks got a big time win last night despite not having their former two-time MVP in the lineup. Milwaukee setting a playoff franchise record for most first half points, 81 for the Bucks as they roll in game two and even up their series with the Heat at a game apiece. As for the T-Wolves, Minnesota erased the 21 point deficit late last night in Denver. T-Wolves would grab the lead, but it's the Nuggets surviving at home to take a 2-0 series lead in that best of seven. Wolves are back at home tomorrow night for game three. Bucks will be in Miami on Saturday. And on the ice, the Wild made it interesting last night. Minnesota Minnesota scoring back-to-back -back goals in 11 seconds. Wild cut it to one at that point, but the Stars answer right back with two goals in 48 seconds. This series heads to St. Paul, tied at a game apiece. So a big day for Minnesotans tomorrow. They got the Wolves yep. and they got the Wild. I heard the St. Paul XL Center is oh, a great yes. place for hockey. Absolutely, and it's really hard to determine where that series is going to go after these first two games. Right. Really competitive. Meanwhile, the Timberwolves. I mean, Anthony Edwards is doing everything possible to get the T-Wolves a win. Yeah, I was shocked that they came back last night. Yeah, for you know? sure. I'm near a 20-point deficit at halftime. Yep. Yep. He's just trying to will them to win, but uh, Carl Anthony Towns needs a needs little bit more. Something. They need to get one at home. Yeah, they need I would think so. Three. Game three is huge but the, for both teams. Those nuggets are good, man. They are. <laughs> All right. Seed in the West. That's right. Rob Schiff, thanks very much. Yep, got we got more news right after this. At Ashley, spring into slumber with a variety of comfort choices from top mattress brands like Ashley Sleep and Sealy. Or get 0% interest for 60 months on select mattresses. Visit your local Ashley store or ashley.com for better sleep and savings today. Hi, I'm Mike Pitts, co-owner of Sugarloaf Ford Lincoln in Winona, Minnesota with my son Andy, and we've been in the business for 45 years. It's a family business. And when you walk in the front door, it should feel like a family business. We take good care of our internal customers, that's our employees, and in turn they take great care of our customers and they love the experience and guess what, they want to come back. Some of these employees have been here 30 to 40 years. We know them, we know their family. We do care and it will show. I've never been afraid to express myself, to create a life I love. I worried cancer could steal my spark and become my identity. But UW Health designed custom treatments just for me. And now, my legacy, it's still in the making. Because standard, well, that's never been my style. UW Health, remarkable. News 8 Now and Dairyland Power Cooperative present Our Community Cares. Kick off spring by taking a stroll and shopping around beautiful downtown La Crosse. Shop the amazing local businesses as retailers offer extended hours and special promotions. Spring Fever Downtown La Crosse, April 21st. Join us for the Between the Bluffs Beer, Wine, and Cheese Fest at the La Crosse Oktoberfest Grounds. Enjoy craft beer, wine, and cheese from the La Crosse region, Wisconsin, and the Midwest. For more information on these events or if you'd like to submit an event, visit news8000.com. Building something that lasts takes persistence and planning. Whatever your dreams are for retirement, we can help you make a plan to get there. At TrustPoint, you get personalized financial guidance from our trusted independent advisors. No hidden fees, no sales pitch, no call center. Just real people right here in La Crosse. TrustPoint will help you plan for what's next. At Ashley, spring into slumber with a variety of comfort choices from top mattress brands like Ashley Sleep and Sealy. Or get 0% interest for 60 months on select mattresses. Visit your local Ashley store or ashley.com for better sleep and savings today. Thank you for watching News 8 Now. Expect more. Sustainability is a key focus for Mayo Clinic Health System's new hospital in La Crosse. Representatives from Mayo say that in 10 years, the new hospital will reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 50% and overall energy use by 20%. This change in energy use thanks in part to geothermal energy. It'll be the first of all Mayo Clinic's hospitals to use the energy source. You as a patient or a visitor are not going to see a difference, 
but our energy use will be way lower. We're challenging ourselves with these new systems like trying to take geothermal, which you might be seeing in your homes or other businesses, and bringing them into healthcare. If construction stays on schedule, the hospital will open fall 2024. It's estimated there are about 2 million livestock farms in the U.S., and that means a lot of manure. As Ian Lee explains, one company in England is finding a way to put that poo to work. Seven-year-old James is the future of his family farm, and he's also shoveling the farm's future. It is a form of liquid gold, isn't it? Because you can't do much without slurry. It's an incredible form of fertilizer. That slurry, or liquid cow patties, are powering this English farm. The power of poo. <laughs> cow waste gives off harmful methane. Instead of leaking it into the atmosphere, it's captured and turned into fuel. Cornwall company Benjamin created the system to capture and process the gas. The bottom layer is the dirty gas, the yeah. upper layer is the processed gas. Yeah, that's correct, yeah, yeah. How much gas can you produce in a day? In a day, we can produce half a ton. That's enough to run this new Holland tractor for about a week. Well, we call it the T6180 methane power, but my children call it the cow fart tractor. Scientists estimate livestock are responsible for 14% of global greenhouse gas emissions. Dairy and cows have been sort of demonized for destroying the ozone layer, and that's absolutely wrong, because in fact what we're doing here is we're promoting dairy as a way of reducing fossil fuel usage. The next step is developing a methane-powered generator to take the farm completely off the grid. Milking, lights, the whole kabang, like it'll all be run off poo. And you have a new appreciation for the poo too? Yes, I do. <laughs> Before when you are in here cursing it and moving it around, now you still curse a little bit, but you just think of the greater good, don't you? Because it's doing amazing things. The stench of going green never smelled so good. Ian Lee, CBS News, Cornwall, England. And that county in England is even buying some of the carbon-friendly fuel to run government vehicles that repair the roads. And the power of the poo, indeed. We'll be right back after this. See the stories you missed or watch them again on our YouTube page. Or find us at news8000.com. It's the High V Red Hot Weekend Sale this Friday through Sunday. Red seedless grapes, just $1.68 a pound. A two-pound pack of basket of bushel strawberries, just $3.99. And Dole chopped salad kits, only $2.99. Only at High V. Welcome to Wesco. Welcome to huge selection and savings. Buy anything in the store at our Wesco price and get the second item half off. That's right, buy one, get the second for half price with free white glove delivery and setup this month only at Wesco in Sparta. Every piece of land has a story written by those who work it. Like the Caggianos who are brewing their own legacy. Or the Upshaws who DIY all the time. While the Nelsons play lead in their own adventure, 150 years in the making. There's a story in every piece of land. Run with us and start telling yours. Talk to the John Deere experts at Tractor Central to find out which equipment is just right for your property. Start now at TractorCentral.com. This time of year has many different names. We call it Showtime. It's when there's work to be done and fun to be had. Plus, it's time for spring bonus offers at your Northland Ford dealers, where you can save big on a Ford truck to make it all happen. Start the season off right with 0.9% financing for 60 months, plus 3,500 in total savings on Ford F-150 XLT. It's showtime. Now for a limited time only, get 0.9% financing for 60 months, plus 3,500 in total savings on Ford F-150 XLT. Only at your Northland Ford dealers. Okay, I think we're all aware that most cell companies only give you the lowest price when you sign up for multiple lines. What? Multiple lines? <laughs> Hello? Yeah, uh-huh. One sec. But U.S. Cellular gives you just one line for $29.99 with unlimited data. Just one line with unlimited data. So you don't have to get more lines than you no, need. No, you hang up. Are you even listening, guy who never looks up from his phone? Oh, not for me. I just say it. Okay, so no. No, you're not listening. Get one line for $29.99. Plus, we'll give you an extra $200. U.S. Cellular. Built for us. Welcome to Wesco. Welcome to huge selection and savings. Buy anything in the store at our Wesco price and get the second item half off. That's right, buy one, get the second for half price with free white glove delivery and setup this month only at Wesco in Sparta. It's the hy V Red Hot Weekend Sale this Friday through Sunday. Six pack 7 Up products, just $2.49. Group Hub Pizza, just $4.99. And value packs of fresh hy V chicken wings are only 99 cents a pound. Only at hy V. 
The next eight days keeps rain chances in the forecast tomorrow going into Saturday. Not going to route so much precipitation Friday night, early Saturday morning. Sunday's the pick of the weekend. The precip chances next week. Not everybody will see it. The ones who do see it, though, will get a downpour, which is regardless what we don't need at this point in time. All right. Thanks for joining us tonight. We'll see you tomorrow.